Max and Ruby. Ruby and Max. Max and Ruby. Ruby and Max. Max and Ruby. Ruby and her little brother Max. Bonnet. Well, you look like a very plain sun hat right now, but don't you worry. Once I'm finished, you'll be the most beautiful Easter bonnet in the Funny Scout Easter Bonnet competition. This whole thing? I've had it for simply ages. <laughs> hmm. Easter comes in the springtime when Mother Nature wakes up from her long winter nap. So I think my Easter bonnet should have a nature theme, <laughs> naturally. I know. I'll start with that for Cynthia Garland I made. It's the most spring-like flower there is. Now, where did it go? Hop! Hop! Max, have you seen my hop? <gasps> For Cynthia Reed? <clears throat> That's for my Easter bonnet, Max? You'll have to find something else for your frog tricks. <laughs> Spring garlands breathe new life into the ordinary. <laughs> hmm. It's a good start. But if I want to win the prize for best bonnet, I'll have to do way better. I can use this blue ribbon to attach something pretty. But what? I need flowers. Lots and lots of flowers. They'll look beautiful tied on with blue ribbon. and daffodils and tulips and ah! <laughs> the flowers are supposed to go on my hat, Max. Not all over the backyard. Thank you for helping me pick up my flowers, Max. Luckily, I still have a spool of pink ribbon left. Looking for something, Max? If you want Froggy to do tricks, maybe you should use treats. Soon, you'll be covered in lots and lots of flowers. Lucky you! That's much better. Spring flowers cheer up any occasion. And pink is the new blue. <laughs> hmm. I need to add some extra special pizzazz. Hold on to your hats! April showers bring May flowers! It's perfect! Now my Easter bonnet is positively... Worms? Huh? What are those icky worms for, Max? Huh? Ew! When I said use treats, I didn't mean wiggly worms. Take them back to the garden. Worms do not belong near Easter bonnets. Besides, frog 
Candies eat flies, Max, not worms. Earthworms are happiest in the earth, Max. Oh, it's late. I have to get to Bunny Scouts for the Easter Bonnet competition. Are you coming, Max? Huh? Thank you, Max. How do I look? Froggy! You can teach Froggy to hop after the competition, Max. Come on. Welcome to the annual Bunny Scout Easter Bonnet Competition. As usual, all of the Easter Bonnets will be judged according to style, form, and originality. So without further ado, let's bring out the bonnets. Thank you, Bunny Scouts. Well, all your Easter bonnets are so spectacular. You've made my job very difficult this year. Louise, your Easter bonnet looks light as a feather. Valerie, yours is pretty as a present. Martha, your hat has more eggs than the Easter Bunny. And Ruby, yours is blooming beautiful. I just don't know how I'm going to choose a winner. But I'm sure one will jump out at me. Good luck, Louise. You too, Ruby. Oh, you fly? Shoo! Oh. Now that's original! Award first prize in the Bunny Scout Easter Bonnet Competition to Ruby for her wonderfully springy nature bonnet. Huh. Max's Easter Parade. Louise, I love that color of pink. It's called piping hot pink. Good name for it. Now all the eggs are painted and it's time to decorate. Oh, hi, Max. Easter's almost here. Do you know what that means? Parade. Parade? Grandma told him about the Easter parade she used to go to. Well, Max, Easter parades are a big part of Easter. But right now, it's time to decorate Easter eggs. See? Louise and I have painted all these eggs, and now they need to be decorated. <gasps> Careful, Max! Easter eggs can break very easily, so we have to be very gentle with them. When the eggs are all decorated, we'll put them in the Easter basket for Grandma to see when she comes over. Would you like to help us, Max? Here's what you can do. When we finish an egg, you can take it to the dining room and put it in the basket, okay? Parade! No, there's no Easter parade today, Max. But there will be lots of beautiful eggs, like this one. That is beautiful, Louise. I can't wait to start mine. Are you ready to take the first egg, Max? Be very careful, Max. Good work. We'll let you know when the next one is ready. 
Decorate Easter eggs. Me too. I wish we could do it all year instead of just at Easter. <laughs> <laughs> now, what else does this one need? Hmm. Huh? <gasps> A, A gold star! star. <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's one that's just the right size. Thanks, Louise. There. I think Grandma will love this one. I know she will. Max, there's another egg ready for the Easter basket. Parade. There's still no Easter parade, Max. But look at this Easter egg I decorated. Isn't it beautiful? I think it's my favorite so far. Ready to take it? Remember, Max. Very carefully. Thanks, Max. Now, what can I do with this piece of macaroni? <gasps> it looks just like... A big smile! <laughs> <laughs> I've got a great idea, Louise. Why don't we make faces on our Easter eggs? That is a great idea, Ruby. There's the smile. And now I'll paint two eyes and a nose. There! He's very handsome, Ruby. <gasps> I think I'll make a lady egg to go with him. Look, you can put more of this macaroni on top to make it look like hair. Perfect! Perfect. <laughs> Max, we've got more eggs for you to put in the basket. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that was close. Look, Max. We made two eggs with faces on them. See? Here's a Mr. Easter egg, and here's a Mrs. Easter egg. Parade! I told you, Max, there's no Easter parade today. Maybe there will be a parade tomorrow. But for now, we'll just decorate these Easter eggs. There are two eggs this time, Max. That means you'll have to be twice as careful, okay? Bye, Mr. and Mrs. Easter Egg! <laughs> I can hardly wait for Grandma to see them. You can hardly wait for me to see what, Ruby? Grandma, you came just in time. We've decorated all our Easter eggs. Come and see them. I just love decorated Easter eggs. And those are real beauties. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> but you haven't seen anything yet. Right, Louise? Right, Ruby. Come and see what's in here. Huh? Where are they? Max. Max, Grandma's here 
and she wants to see... seen anything quite like this. What a wonderful Easter egg tree! Max and the Easter Bunny. It's Easter egg hunt day and I can't wait. Oh, hi Max. Guess what today is? Today is the annual Bunny Scout Easter Egg Hunt. See? I put this nice squishy paper in it so the eggs won't break. It's just like their own little nest. Do you know what happens in the annual Bunny Scout Easter Egg Hunt, Max? Every year at Easter, the Easter Bunny hides beautiful decorated eggs all over the park. And then the Bunny Scouts search and search until we find all the eggs the Easter Bunny hid. Easter Bunny! That's right, Max. The Easter Bunny hides the eggs and we find them. It's lots of fun. Do you want to come with me and help? Okay, let's go. I, I can't, can't wait, wait to get to the it. I bet I'll find the most. Hi, Bunny Scout Ruby. Are you ready for the annual Bunny Scout Easter Egg Hunt? I sure am, Bunny Scout Louise. Hi, Ruby. Oops, I mean, Bunny Scout Ruby. <laughs> Isn't this going to be fun? Easter Bunny! <laughs> <laughs> you surprised me. That's right, Max. The Easter Bunny hides the eggs and we find them. Oh dear, so much excitement. All right, Bunny Scouts, are you ready for the Easter egg hunt? Ready, Bunny Scout Leader! Does every bunny have their Easter egg basket? Yes, Bunny Scout Leader! Then let's see who can find the most Easter eggs. On your mark, get set. Come on, Max. Keep your eyes open for brightly colored Easter eggs. I bet there's an Easter egg somewhere in... I found one! I found the first Easter egg! <laughs> Way to go, Bunny Scout Louise! Isn't it beautiful? Easter Bunny! That's right, Max. The Easter Bunny hid that egg and Louise found it. Now we have to find more eggs. Wait a second. It's red and pink, so it must be an Easter egg. Look, Max, I found my first Easter egg. Easter Bunny. Yes, the Easter Bunny hid it very well, but I still found it. No, Max, the Easter egg goes in the basket. And now we have to find more. <laughs> Easter Bunny. Now, if I were an Easter egg, where would I be? I think I found another one! Another red egg with pink polka dots? That's funny. This looks like the kind of place the Easter Bunny would hide a lot of Easter eggs. to 
Bunny Scout Valerie. Hmm, where else should I look? Where did you come from? Another purple and white striped egg? Huh. I wonder if the Easter Bunny hid any eggs in the playground. There's only one way to find out, Bunny Scout Ruby. Let's start hunting. <laughs> <laughs> Aha! The Easter Bunny did hide eggs in the playground. Good work, Bunny Scout Ruby. <gasps> Look! I found one too. Hmm. The Easter Bunny sure likes red eggs with pink polka dots this year. Let's go see how the other Bunny Scouts are doing. Okay. <laughs> Right, Bunny Scouts. Let's look in your baskets and see who found the most Easter eggs. Yay! That's funny. There's only one egg. I know I found more than that. I've only got one egg, too. I have the same problem. Me, too. There's something funny going on here. Mac. Do you know what happened to the rest of the Easter eggs, Max? Did you eat them? Did you hide them, Max? <laughs> that explains it. Explains what, Ruby? I mean, Bunny Scout Ruby? I thought I found a whole bunch of red and pink polka dotted Easter eggs, but I didn't. I just found the same egg over and over again. Well, I guess we'll just have to do the Easter egg hunt one more time. Yay! There are lots and lots more eggs out there hidden by Max, our own special Easter Bunny. <laughs> <laughs>